Aloha, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Hallmark Heartbeats, a podcast all about Hallmark movies. I am your host, Camille. And this week, we are reviewing Hallmark's newest movie, the first of four new movies in the Summer Night series titled You Had Me at Aloha. It starring Pascal Hutton and Kavan Smith, co-starring Jennifer Aspen and Valen Allo. This was the first Hallmark movie to be set in Hawaii, and as someone who lives in Hawaii, I was most excited about this movie. I was happy to notice they had included several local talent, including Valen Allo, the actor who played Luis Fuentes. The official synopsis of this movie, Paige, played by Pascal Hutton, and Ben, played by Kavan Smith, will become the new co-hosts of a popular travel show set in Hawaii. As a clash of ideas, they grapple with the fact that not only do they need each other to further their careers, but they also balance each other out on and off the screens. We have seen Pascal and Kavan play opposite each other in several projects. Their most popular role is obviously as Lee and Rosemary Coulter in When Calls the Heart. But they've also played in Hallmark's The Perfect Bride series. The premise for You Had Me at Aloha was also something they both came up with and are credited as executive producers. Between hula, luau, zip lining, exploring Kualoa Ranch, and many other recognizable places on the island of Oahu, we cannot talk about this movie without the other main character, my beautiful state, my home state, Hawaii. I was so ecstatic to see my home state be featured in a Hallmark movie. I have been wanting one filmed here for years, although I preferred it to be a Christmas movie. But this will do and it didn't disappoint. Our beautiful land was featured in the movie, and so were the people. The word aloha means hello, goodbye, and love. It also has a cultural meaning behind it. Another thing Hawaii is famous for is the aloha spirit. What does that mean? The Hawaiian word alo means presence or share, and the word ha means breath of life or essence of life. So aloha is something that you experience, a joy, a beauty, a passion, something that is within you. But at the same time, it is something that you share with those around you so that others can share this joy. This movie exemplified that. Aloha wasn't just in the title, but in how the characters interacted with each other, sharing their love and joy with traveling, experiencing the beauty of the island, opening each other's eyes to new experience, new meaning, new love. Paige and Ben were total opposites of each other, having different philosophies in how the series Next Destination Hawaii was to be filmed. But as the whole movie progresses, we see them open up to each other, share about their past, fears, hopes, and dreams. We see them be affected by the whole Aloha spirit. It was hinted from the beginning something went on in Paige's past hosting gig that has traumatized her. We find out is a viral video with 10 million views of goats chasing her. Years later, people still bleat at her, calling her goat lady. Side note, a bad move on the 80s music trivia host. Not cool at all to bleat at Paige. We don't do that kind of stuff in Hawaii. But we also find out Paige carries a lot of guilt from that. It was not a planned stop for filming there. She had left the pen open and the goats ate a lot of the crops. The show was sued, people lost their jobs, and Paige, well, she had become a stickler to scripts and schedules. Also, she has shied away from hosting gigs and went behind the scenes as a producer. Ben too had a past we later unraveled throughout the movie. He comes off as unscripted, fly by the seat of his pants type of host. 
but we do find substance below the surface. He starts to show off a compassionate side towards Paige, protecting her against bullies, being open to follow scripts while offering ideas of how the show can be better. We find out why he quit Next Destination after one season. He had a girl. He had plans for future with her. White picket fence, family, home. But she wasn't ready for those plans. She wasn't ready for him. After the breakup, he quit Next Destination and started Bold World, totally going off script, anti-plans. Throughout the movie, Paige and Ben hints at the Hawaii bubble. What happens when they leave the islands are back and are back to the regular life? Her in New York, him at wherever the wind blows. I do know this. Outside of the Hawaii bubble, people change because the spirit of Aloha goes with them. Although Paige only agreed to do one season of Next Destination with him, Ben introduces this crazy idea of joining him past Hawaii. The chemistry was off the charts, their banter, the energy was something he didn't want to end. It scared Paige because in a way, she was still traumatized by the ghosts. But at the end, she loved the idea because hosting this season has ignited her passion once more. Her passion in traveling, in hosting, in being in front of the camera. Todd Harper, the previous host, now wants back in on hosting. He wants to host with Paige, thinking he could create the same chemistry she had with Ben. The thing is, it wasn't going to work. Ben and Paige's last scene for, with each other was at Waimea Falls, North Shore Hawaii. They decide to go off script, and you can tell they are both affected by this, as they both state what their favorite parts of the series was. I got emotional. I can tell the spirit of the islands, the Aloha spirit, has affected them as it has affected all who, who visits Hawaii. Ben and Lewis leave for the airport to head to their next de destination, Australia. Ben looks back before he catches the plane. We know he wants to stay for Paige. We are led to believe he leaves. Paige stays behind and talks with Min Millie the executive producer of Next Destination. Paige realizes she isn't as bold on her own versus if Ben was here. He gives her the confidence to get out of her comfort zone. Millie asks Paige, what would you do if Ben were here? And quote Paige, I'd quit. I say, Millie, I'm tired of pretending like I have this great plane in my life when I actually have no real power to make it happen. I'm tired of waiting for other people to say yes when I want to do the things that I want to do. I want to go snorkeling and UTVing and laugh along with the people who are laughing at me when I do dumb things. And then I would want to turn to Ben and say, let's go and see the world. And she did. She turned to Billy and said, I quit. Right there on the spot, she quit. Next destination. And after Millie gives her the professional response, she hands Paige Ben's flight information. Paige rushes to the airport and is stopped at the gate. The plane has left with what she thought was Ben. She returns back to the beach, and as she stands there watching the sunset, Ben stands with her. He decides to stay for one more Hawaiian sunset. Now Paige, unemployed, unscripted, unplanned, but just hopes to be with Ben. They decide on their next adventure together. They decide on ziplining in Bali. The spirit of Aloha, the spirit of the islands, follow them in their next adventures together. I give this movie a star rating of three out of five stars. I love Pascal and Kavan. They have great chemistry together. I guess that's to be expected when you've been playing scene partners for over five years. They are also best friends off the camera, and you can tell they always have so much fun on set. I love the local talent used in the making of this movie, from actor Valenalo to the Maohi Nui dancers, drummers, musicians, fire, and Tahitian dancers. 
I love that all of the wardrobe comes from Hawaii. All local businesses supporting local economy. I still want to know where Pascal's dresses come from. No one has yet to give me any information on that. <laughs> also, they used local talent behind the scenes for hair and makeup, wardrobe, and more. I love that they explored several parts of Hawaii, from Kuwa to Waimea Falls, from the Halana Blowhole to downtown Honolulu. They visited the local farmer's market. You can see a beautiful island, great recognizable landmarks. I just wish they were able to showcase more the local food. Hawaii has some local dishes that is unique to this island. Not just Kalua pig, but poi, lau lau, lomi lomi salmon, chicken and rice, musubis. What a missed opportunity to talk about our local foods, not just the pineapples. I love that folding of the storylines behind Paige and Ben. They surprise each other and the viewers. There was substance there below the surface. It teaches us to look beyond first impressions. Sometimes our first impression is wrong. We should open up our minds and our eyes. Okay, y'all are gonna hate this, but my biggest pet peeve in this movie is how they keep mispronouncing Hawaii. The W in is pronounced like a V. That's the way the Kanaka Maoli, the Kamaina, the locals pronounce it. I just wish someone would have corrected them. In conclusion, you can listen to this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Podbean, Tune in Alexa, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. Follow us on all social media platforms. Our Instagram page, Hallmark Heartbeats. Facebook page, Hallmark Heartbeats Podcast. And Twitter, Hallmark Heartbeat One. Buy us a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com slash hmarkheartbeats. We have never released podcasts, behind-the-scenes news, as well as raw, unedited footage of our interviews. We have two levels for Buy Me A Coffee supporters. Our Americano level, which is $1 a month, you get to a voice on the podcast where you get to vote which movie I review for weeks that Hallmark does not have new movies. For $5 a month, you get behind-the-scenes looks on the podcast. You also get raw, unedited footage of our interviews and never-released podcasts. Um, like for the month of May, I reviewed Birthday Wish, starring Jesse Schramm and Luke McFarlane. For the month of June, I choose to review The Christmas House, Starring Robert Earl Buckley, Jonathan D. Bennett. This one is a historic movie for Hallmark because it is the first Christmas movie to have an LGBTQ main character. I chose this movie because June is Pride Month. All links are on our link tree, which is in the bio. The next podcast. It is three podcasts back-to-back for three new movies. Yay! We continue with the Summer Night series. On June 14th, the Baker's Son Recap. June 21st, the pen pal, Her Pen Pal Recap. And June 28th, Sand Dollar Cove Recap with guest co-host Brittany Stanley from the Oi With The WB Already podcast. Mahalo for listening to me and exploring my beautiful state with me. I love this movie and I am so appreciative that Hallmark finally did a movie here. I hope they come back again. Mahalo and aloha. Bye.